In this lesson series, we're going to talk about the shuffle. I found that most gigging drummers have to have a good shuffle, so we're going to address how to improve your shuffle now. There are three main nuances that I like to talk about. We're going to talk about that in the following lessons. Right now, we're going to talk about the first of three nuances in our shuffle series. The shuffle is usually written out as triplets, and if you play it exactly as triplets, it can kind of sound like happy trails, ombadida, ombadida, happy trails, and that can be a little bit flat and boring. So what I like to try to do is phrase this almost as a dotted eighth note and a sixteenth note. So what that does is it puts a little bit more snap on the shuffle. So I'm going to play it the way I like to play it, then I'm going to go to what I would call the happy trail shuffle, which you don't want to do, and then back to the way I want to do it. The second nuance that we're going to talk about in our shuffle series is playing the note before the backbeat almost as loud as the backbeat. That gives a little bit of weight to the backbeat. So let me show you this nuance and then I'm going to play it without that nuance. Depending on who you're playing with, sometimes they may really want that backbeat pronounced, but for me personally, I like to play that note before the backbeat almost as loud as the backbeat. It gives that backbeat a nice weight to it and it makes things swing a lot harder. The third nuance in our shuffle series is going to be to accent beats two and four on the bass drum just a little bit. I picked this up by studying with Johnny Vidakovic. He was like, bruh, I don't know what it is about cats from Texas, but whenever I play with cats from Texas, they like it when I accent beats two and four on the backbeat. So I experimented with that and I feel like it gives more weight to the backbeat. Again, some people you play with may not like that, so you want to be able to do it both ways. But check this out. I like doing this. See how this sounds. Now that's a tool that you can use when you really want to come up with an atomic backbeat on the shuffle. Some people may want more straight quarter notes, but this is something that you can develop and use it as a tool. It'll also help with your dynamics on the bass drum. So please practice that, film yourself, and tag us at Improve Your Grooves, and we want to see your new and improved shuffle. 